Good morning, HSM, and welcome to your Monday morning coffee. Wait, what? What do you mean juice? This is called Monday morning juice. It, it, juice, who drinks juice? That's just weird. Anyway, HSM, I was doing my devotions this morning and I came across this incredible verse and it's found in Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse six. Let me read it to you. It says, so be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not panic before them for the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. I like this verse. Now, some of you guys know that I enjoy hiking. Actually, today is my day off, and yes, you bet, I'm going hiking. But you see, there's been times when I've been hiking alone, and I've gotten, hate to admit this, lost. You know, I got so focused on just walking, I wasn't paying attention to the trail. And what happened is, I just took a wrong turn, and when I realized it, I was like, not on the right trail. Actually. I must have been on some kind of deer trail or rabbit trail. I'm not sure what I was on, but I realized very quickly I was lost. And that little bit of panic kind of settled in, the little anxiety started to go off, and I'm like, wow, I need to get back on the right trail. So being a hiker, I realized that I needed to look for something. I had to find the trail markers. Now, when you hike, you gotta realize you have these trail markers. And what it is is someone has gone before you, and what they have done, they have laid out the trail. They have marked it very clearly. And usually it's blue, or here in New Brunswick, you got that little symbol with the person on it. It's it should be blue, but whatever it is. But here's the deal. Once you find those markers, you realize, wow, I'm back on the right trail. And that's what happened to me. Found the trail markers, got back on the right trail, relaxed, and kept on hiking. And then I just followed the markers back and got back to my car. Now you're wondering, Roger, why did you say that to me this morning? Well, here's why. Because I believe that God goes before us. Because this verse tells us right here that God will personally go ahead of you. Because see, here's the deal. You and I have no idea what's coming up this week. This week could be the best week ever, or it could be a week that could be filled with frustration, maybe uh, some disappointments. You get the idea. This week could also be the week that you may get a little, yeah, derailed or confused or maybe a little bit lost and you just may need to find your direction back. And see, here's the beautiful thing about God. God says that he has gone ahead of you. He has already marked out the path that you need to walk this week. But see, here's the thing you and I need to do. We need to acknowledge God. And so at the beginning of this week, I'm challenging you. Would you just kind of pause for a moment and just simply say, hey God, I got to deal with some stuff this week and I just need your Holy Spirit to make me strong and courageous. Hey God, this week, would you help me to step in the right direction no matter what comes my way? And God says he's got you. Now, I want to read this exact same verse, Deuteronomy 31, verse 6, in a different translation, and it's found in the message. And this is what it says. It says, be strong, take courage, don't be intimidated. So don't matter, don't, don't be intimidated what comes your way, but take, be strong, be courageous. Don't give them a second thought, because God, your God, is stirring ahead of you. And he's also right there with you, and he will not let let you down and he will not leave you. So here's my encouragement for you. Trust God. He's got you. He knows which path you need to take. You need to be strong and courageous. Acknowledge him and he's going to get you through no matter what comes your way this week. Hey, can I pray for you? Dear God, I just want to say thank you so much for HSM students. God, I pray that this week you empower them with your Holy Spirit. That, God, they will acknowledge you in whether there's good things or not so good things this week. That, God, they will clearly rely on the direction that you have for them. And that may this week be the week that they grow stronger in their faith and move continually to move forward in their relationship with you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Have a great week. Go get them.